chaos surrounding the protests at the Dakota Access Pipeline. Sunday night, around 400 protesters tried to push past police on the Backwater Bridge, leading to the state highway that has been blockaded since late October. This resulted in at least one arrest while all other protesters were pushed back with tear gas and water cannons in the low 20 degree weather. If you don't know about this protest, it's about the people of Standing Rock who fear that the pipeline will contaminate their clean drinking water and ruin their sacred sites. This protest has been going on for about three and a half months now, and now to Elijah with International News. I'm Elijah and I will be covering international news this week. This week's international news story is about a train crash in India. On Sunday, 14 cars out of a 23 car train were derailed. More than 140 people were killed and 169 injured in this derailment. More than 23 million people ride on trains every day in India. Even though it is the most popular form of long distance travel, there are several accidents a year. This is one of the deadliest in six years. And now to Jocelyn for local news. Hi, my name is Jocelyn Tober, and this week's local news is about dry conditions. On Saturday afternoon into the evening, fire companies were battling a series of brush fires into the woods due to dry weather conditions and growing wind. The wind gusts reached about 40 miles per hour. No structures or people were injured during any of the fires. Temperatures have reached to 60 degrees, creating dry conditions. The threat of brush fires has increased Saturday afternoon with an arrival of cold weather. Now to Dalton with politics. Hi, I'm Dalton, and this is Politics. As Thanksgiving quickly approaches, a strange presidential tradition is about to take place. The pardoning of the turkey is an often misunderstood tradition that originates long back in American history. Every year, the president is given a turkey from the National Turkey Federation to eat. However, most recent U.S. presidents have chosen to pardon the bird. Ironically, the president still usually eats a turkey for Thanksgiving, just not the one that they are presented. <clears throat> The tradition of pardoning the turkey dates back to President John F. Kennedy. However, he insists that he wasn't pardoning the turkey, just letting it go to grow another year. Kennedy wasn't the first president to pardon a turkey, though. Abraham Lincoln pardoned a turkey that he was given for Christmas dinner because his son Tad began to like it. Presidents haven't just received turkeys for Thanksgiving, though. President Coolidge was sent a raccoon from an unknown man in Mississippi. The raccoon was pardoned, and the Coolidge family accepted it as a pet. That's politics. Kind of. And now on to Ashley with news in the world of business. This week in business, Apple is replacing a small number of 516S batteries because the phones have been shutting down unexpectedly. Apple said the problem impacts iPhone 6S devices that were made between September and October of last year, and it affects devices within a limited serial number range. Customers are being told to go to an Apple retail store to have the serial number checked, and if the device is eligible, Apple Apple replaced the battery at no cost. Now to Sierra with sports. Hi, I'm Sierra, and this week in sports, the current top four ranked college football teams in America are Alabama, Ohio State, Michigan, and Clemson. Penn State is currently ranked number eight with a record of nine to two. The last game they played was on Saturday, and they won 39 to zero against the Rutgers Scarlet Knights. Their next game is this Saturday against Michigan State. They will play at Penn State at 3.30. We here at the newsroom would like to wish you all a happy Thanksgiving.